All right, up until this point, you've probably been frustrated when you have to make dot plots, stem and leaf plots, and histograms from tables that are not sorted. If you had these things sorted from least to greatest, it would make transferring them over to the graphs a lot easier. This video is gonna walk you through that. So the first thing I want you to do is press the stat key. You'll notice there's some things in this menu that you wanna pay attention to. There's the edit option right here. That's where you're gonna put your data in to the calculator. This little sort A, which means sort the data in ascending order. We're gonna use that next to get them from least to greatest. And then uh, we'll use this little setup editor to, the, for the very first time here, just so we can get your calculator screen to look exactly like mine. So press option five, then press enter. It'll run a little uh, program on the computer to get it so your screen is set up the same way as mine. Now press the stat key. The stat key, I want you to press edit. We're gonna press and type in, uh, oh wait, so you have someone like me here where you had uh, data in here before and I wanna get rid of this. If you press the up arrow, you can select list one and hit clear and then press enter. What that does, it wipes out the entire list. If you ever have like a small amount of data to get rid of, you can also press the delete key one at a time and that will get rid of these things one thing at a time also. Two ways to do that. But let's put our data into L1. So you're gonna take my six numbers that I have here. I'll put in 14, enter each time, 75, enter 36, enter 16, enter 20, ah, oh, shoot. 25, enter, and then 33, enter. Now, when you press the up arrow and put your cursor on the last data number or data value, you'll notice that there's a six there. That six is important for you to know. So if you go through a really long list and that number doesn't match the same number of data numbers that you have here or data values that you have here, then you may have skipped a number on accident. So make sure you always take time to check that you possibly skip a number, that number should always match. Next, what I wanna do is I wanna take this data and get it in uh, ascending order from least to greatest. Pay attention to the list that you just entered it into. You entered it into L1. So when you press the stat key, I wanna sort this data for this uh, set of data by pressing option number two. And then I'm gonna put in L1 as the list I'm gonna to try to sort. So press second one, you'll see it says L1 right above the key here. And then close the parentheses if you need to, hit enter. And then now what's just happened in the background is on the stat window, when I go back to edit, it's gonna have your data from least to greatest. This is an awesome feature to have because now making the dot plots and the stem and leaves and the histograms are gonna be a lot easier. Hope this video helps and good luck.